thinking about how you place orders okay i want you to see the image on the screen which is a replica of something you call a order book okay or it's also called market depth depth so what happens is on the left side you have buyers on the right side you have sellers so these guy it's it's almost like a market it is exactly like a market where people have they want to buy this many shares at uh, this many price and uh, once they meet the trade happens now why am i showing this is um you need to be very careful at what price you buy and what price you sell now there are two types of orders which is called limit order and market order now what market order means is you will just say i want 100 shares you will not say the price whatever price is available in the market it will just go and buy it at that price so right now if you put a market order to buy 100 shares of infosys it will buy these 20 shares uh, and then one share four share and the remaining uh, eight, uh, 75 shares will come at 156 so this is how you buy at market order however if you have a limit order basic basically where you tell what price you want you can actually say i'll put it at 1055.05 and us will be the first to execute and you will get a better price so it at time it is always necessary that as much as possible you try to place limit orders so that you are in control of the price at which the trade is executed um next thing i want to talk about is uh, shorting securities now this is very rarely done but a lot of uh, risk taking uh, investors can actually if they believe a security is going to go down they can short a security uh the biggest problem with shorting uh, is there can be uh, circuits on securities which is upper circuit or lower circuit now what does that mean uh if 5% upper circuit that means that stock cannot go above 5% or cannot go down below 5% that's it for the day so if you have uh, for example bought a security okay and if it is at lower circuit that means you cannot exit that day at all there are already sellers there so you need to be careful around all these circuit securities because they are kept as a risk measure so be careful about them and uh, next i want to talk about things that affect your stock prices for example you have made an investment or you have even made a trade uh the biggest thing that affects uh, a stock is actually either news announcements or results now results come every quarter so company suddenly this quarter their npa has gone up that means they have given people loan uh, which they shouldn't have given so then the stock will collapse and if suddenly they made good profits and their margins are improving or uh, then they would actually go up same thing about news yesterday the news came out that china wants to release resources and uh, reduce metal prices across the board all metal stocks vedanta nmdc tata steel everyone was down anywhere to sell from 7 to 10% because if the price is lower they will have to sell lower and they will all have to uh, make uh, lesser profits going ahead as a business and uh, you need to be uh, you don't as a long term investor you don't need to react to each of this because if you believe in the business you can continue to remain invested however if something is crazy wrong for something like corporate governance they are trying to merge with a, a you know a subsidiary this is what satyam tried to do uh, just before everything bro- hell broke loose so all those things i've seen as a bad uh, omen and it's uh, so you need to be careful and only evaluate um, these uh, uh, results and announcements in your original view saying okay i would have still invested in this despite okay the company made 5% less profits it's okay i don't have a problem holding on but if it is down 60% and something is seriously wrong then you may need to think okay i made a bad call let me exit so you need to view those news and then accordingly take a call finally i want to talk about stop loss and good uh, good till trade orders uh, whenever you're doing trading strategies and this is not necessary for investing you tend to have a stop loss um uh, maybe 5% to 10% and basically it basically tells you okay i don't believe in this let me get out it is a good practice if you are uh, not following the market continuously to have stop losses and 
good deal trade is basically um, this is a feature that's not available with all brokers but it's available with multiple brokers basically you can put an order to sell uh, any other day also for example you have bought it at 100 you want to sell it at 1200 that order you can put a gtt at 1200 to sell and it will be open till it is executed so it is good till traded and uh, that that's another order you can make use of once you have started investing and finally uh, actually i should have spoken this about in the earlier it's about position sizing now uh, you have 1 lakh rupees investment uh, i wouldn't recommend anyone to actually take more than uh, 15 20000 rupees in one share and this is again going back to diversification uh, you need to ensure that all your eggs are not in one basket so try to split money into different securities across different sectors and take care of position sizing and risk and and you would be able to make a uh, considerable alpha over time um and that's basically uh uh diversification